Wagwan Massive, I am Fziba. Welcome to my channel if you are stopping by for the first time and if you are returning, welcome back. I share on my channel things that I do to live naturally on a budget. So I share recipes, I share my hair growth story, I share things that I've been using to just keep healthy and just about anything as well that helps me save a dollar or two in my pocket. Now, in today's video, family, I'm going to be sharing with you this secret recipe that I have been using to just help me to recover from androgenic alopecia. Now, this recipe contains nine powerful Jamaican herbs. So ensure that you listen out throughout the video so that you'll know what herbs I use. And I'll be showing you how I use these herbs to do a very soothing scalp bath. So let's get into our recipe for today. So these are the herbs that I'm working with. I have papaya leaf. I have one of my favorites, leaf of life. I have oregano, neem leaves, I have basil, I have one, I am not going to call the name, so I hope you guys pick up what I am talking about. I have guava leaves. The thing is, when we're working with herbs, we work with odd numbers, so no even numbers. So these, I have here seven herbs, so I hope I called all of them. Now, I'm going to just soak these now to remove any impurities. I'm just gonna wash them properly. Remove any debris and dirt and impurities from them. And then we're gonna blend all of this. And I'm gonna show you how I do my scalp bath. No, I'm not going to wash it out for today. Tomorrow is my wash day. And so what I'm going to do after I allow my hair to soak in all of the chlorophyll and the nutrients from these plants, then I am going to just allow my hair to air dry for a little bit. And then I will seal in the moisture and all of the goodness that I gather from all of these plants. You can wash them with vinegar or baking soda, whichever you feel like using. So I'm going to wash these with some baking soda. So guys, these are some aromatic herbs, some inflammatory herbs. So this is just smelling so good smelling very good like i said family i like to use the fresh herbs on my hair if you notice most of the videos the hair videos i have on my channel they're usually fresh herbs because hair really needs chlorophyll and it needs sunlight to, th to thrive so if you can you can you know explore this try and get some fresh green herbs for your scalp especially if you are having issues like I am recovering from all right so I'm gonna change the water and wash once more and then we're going to blend I had already washed the other two herbs the rosemary and the tridox procumbens also known as Spanish needle or English daisy and so I'm adding everything to the blender and I blend with some alkaline water now when I'm done blending, I am just straining to ensure that I remove as much of the sediments as possible. Here I am adding some warm water to the mixture. This will help to open the follicles and the cuticles so that the nutrients can penetrate a lot easier. So doing a scalp bath awakens the nerve endings on the scalp and it promotes circulation. I won't get much into the benefits of the herbs. I will just allow you to do your own research. Guys, if you do your own research, you'll just see what all these herbs are good for and how they will help you to recover from any kind of hair loss and don't even mention they're also going to help to grow your hair 
so to do the bath I immerse my hair into the herbs and I'm just using a cup to help get the hair saturated I do this over and over until the hair is saturated enough and now I'm just doing a very gentle scalp massage just to you know help with the whole circulation process guys this feels so amazing and soothing i am literally feeling the tingling on my scalp and it's just an it's just a great feeling so after the scalp bath i'm allowing my hair to soak up some sunshine so it can air dry a lot quicker i just do this for about three to five minutes and during my shower i allow the cold water to barely wet the hair because i didn't really want to rinse out all of this goodness so i barely wet the hair just to close back the follicles and the cuticles when i'm done i use my hair growth oil to seal in the goodness afterwards and family i can't even tell you how much this feels so rejuvenating and my scalp is just left feeling both hydrated and refreshed so this is how i basically wore my hair to work i just catch it up in one after my hair bath wasn't so neat but that's okay so here i'm just showing you what my hair looks like when i come home i basically just loosen it and you can see how healthy this hair is looking so none of this was wasted family my mother actually used the rest of it to do her foot soak thank you for watching see you in the next video